Backyard Woodworking. Today we're going to make a, I guess you call it a, a door caddy. It's like adding a, lo a little uh, shelf on your closet doors in your kitchen or, or any door in your shop or something. You got small items to, to store. Like uh, I made a bunch for the kitchen uh, for putting your spices in because uh, we live in a a single a single wide trailer it's a new one but it's it's still a trailer and it they don't have the storage as a big house uh, we have a relatively small kitchen with just the wife and I we don't need a big uh, bunch of room here and we're quite happy where we live out in the country on an acre of ground it's nice here but besides that what you need I got a hunk of two by three you could use a two by four it doesn't much matter now what we're going to do, we're going to slice this up. First, I'm going to knock the edges off so I have a square edge. Then, I'm going to flip it on its side and we're going to rip this down into strips about three-eighths wide. It doesn't have to be exact because then I'm going to run them through a planer and I'm going to knock them down a hair. So, let's get started. through the planer anyway. Now, take this and set it behind your blade always. This is a handy jig to have. Now, what you do is set your workpiece to the jig. Because that roller is three, uh, about three-eighths away from the blade there. Now, I can make it any, you know, a half inch or make these uh, any size you want. Now, you see that? I would cut a thin strip like that. But what I'm doing here is going to cut this in half this way. So here's what I'm going to do. Lock this down like so. Set my blade. Now, I have approximately here, I'm using this, this, Square ain't worth a darn for being square, but it, the ruler works. I got, uh, say, two and three-eighths here. So I want to go, you know, say, an inch and a quarter high. So I'll set my blade up about an inch and a quarter. It yeah, don't have to be perfect, but that's close. That gets me a little bit past the halfway point. Just a hair. We got this, the jig set, locked in place, behind the blade. You can't push on the blade or you're going to end up getting kicked. Now this, this saw here 
We'll cut right through this. Now I got a, a, a cross cut rip blade in a combo blade. And it's only got 28 teeth on it. Now if you don't have a table saw and a, a, like this or a, a halfway decent, you can buy at your big box store quarter inch wood. And you can get it in all different sizes. Uh, if you look under, uh, they sell it in poplar and oak usually, at like uh, places like, uh, I don't want to put brand names out there, but you know, your big box stores, the big blue one and the big orange one, you know what I'm talking about. And some of your lo your local lumber yards too, they'll, they'll sell that. And you can buy them in, in varying widths, and you won't even have to use this step. But I'm just making it, you know, I have this laying around, and pine just works fine for what we're building today. So what we're going to do is take this thin rip jig. By the way, I have a video on my channel. You can check that out, how to make one of these. Very simple. Including the little rollers here. These rollers here are just, are just made out of plexiglass. Cut out with a hole saw. Very simple. Okay, let's run this through. inches 
I set my fence at 15, makes up for the inch here. I take my pieces like that and stack them together so they're tight. Turn the saw on. Now, perfectly, perfectly cut. And in here, I'm going to have my other piece. So this piece here is going to be the width of these. Being they're all the same, that's not hard to figure out. You just take your two pieces, you just line her up like so. and make a line. Now that's where I want to cut that. So what I'm going to do is take my my uh, fence again. Now see, I don't like using a sled. I have a sled. But I'm going to line this up so that hits right there. And so what I want to do is take this Slide this over. And go like so. And right where I want to hit this. Now I want that right there. That'll give me dead on, on that little thing right there. Bingo. Lock that down. Now. I can take this, move this back behind the blade again, like so, and now I can cut pieces. Now I'm going to need one, two of them, and I'm going to need another piece, so what I do is I just take some more 2 by and rip it down and make some more of these, the same way as I did. But right now, I only need one box to show everybody. Now, that one's not the best piece, so I'll take a better piece. All right. Use that like that. Okay, now I want this piece here, and we'll cut this here, and I need two of these. See, now I can make as many as I want. I have my fence set. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Now you see what I got. I got my two pieces here, front and back. These are the same size. They should fit right in here, like that. Now, they're high because I'm up. Well, solve that problem. You can go like that. And we'll cut the bottom to fit the thickness. Of I'll ball this down my blade like so. Turn the saw. You take this. And this, and we're going to take this, and this, and that's a winner. It all lined up, and you're going to have a box like that with a bottom. And clamp them, so when you put your sides up,
It'll fit right in there. And you get a good glue joint. All right, next step, let's glue her up. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of glue here on my little brush. Now, this is going to get some glue right here. I just take some glue here and and do it to it. These glue brushes are great, by the way. Cleans right off. You can just let it harden; it'll pull right off. It's I get them pretty much parallel with the workpiece. And I'm going to look at, make sure that everything is straight, top and bottom, both sides. Take this and we'll hit the bottom tight. That'll work. All right. Let the glue sit a while and dry up. Now I just take a sander here and give it a little shot. I just did a quick job to show you. What I do is take a tape measure, pencil, or you can use your handy dandy marking tool here. This, this works real well for uh, objects uh, sizes like this, provided you put it in the right way. Uh, it goes this way. This is a marking gauge by Craig Tools. I bought this a while ago, and I really like it. Now I'm going to come in about a about a half inch, maybe nine sixteenths on the end. Now I pick out which face of this do you like the best. That don't look as good as this side. I like this side. So this is going to be my back. I'm going to come in here, mark my marks like so. Now I'm the same distance in. Now you can take a pair of pliers or take a, a drill and drill a tiny pilot hole. I think I have a drill for that. Alrighty. I have a 1 16th bit here. I'm just going to make a tiny little starter hole. You don't need much. Try to get right in the center. And then you can take your screw. Now this is just a plain brass screw. I you can now this is one way I this is how I I've been mounting them. 
You take this like so, put a little bit of a starter hole, flatten it out. And the other one, All right, you get them in so they're level. Well, that looks pretty good. And there you go. Now what I do, I just take a either a, a, a small pin head screw, or you can use like a Craig screw with a washer head on it, you know, or a brass screw. And go into your uh, styles on your on your cabin and door. Get it level. You get a little level on it. Or measure it real accurately. If your cabinets are level, you'll be all right. And then drill your pilot holes, and then put your screw in there, and you this hangs right on the cabinet door like so. And you can put whatever you know. If you got something, well, this is made for uh, my kitchen to put spice stuff in. But for example. On a shop cabinet, you can put like your, this is my uh, oil for the nail gun, uh, whatever, WD-40. Make these any size you like. And you can make them out of 2 by 3s uh, which this is made out of, or 2 by 4 uh, 2 by 6 I don't care what you make out. Or you can, you know, you could use, uh, you could, theoretically, I mean, if you're not too particular about it, you could use half-inch plywood and make them and make them heavier and then hang them. You could screw these to a wall or something on, on the studs. Make them wide enough to span the studs in your shop and put anything you liked in them. But they're very simple to make and the wood's fairly inexpensive. You can buy a stud for three bucks, a two by four by eight uh, at your home center. And by cut you get three pieces out of the width of a two by four long so you're getting 24 feet of wood out of one stud. You can make a lot of little shelves like that out of them. Well I want to thank you for watching Backyard Woodworking. Now uh, oh, another thing before uh, I finish here, before I forget, you can paint it or not paint it. Uh, get some, I, I recommend a good uh, spray. Easy. A spray finish. You can get a spray stain or, uh, or a mixture of stain, urethane type of spray. They sell that now, and all kinds. Just give it a, a shot, and then uh, screw your things in so you don't get them coated, and you're done deal. I mean, you match your kitchen cabinets if you want. Now this one here is going to uh, going to get stained. I got some spray stain for it. And I'm just going to give it a shot of spray stain, let it dry, and, and that's a done deal. Another thing for these uh, before I finish these wooden uh, strips you can make. Run them through a planer or buy them. Like I said, you can buy these too, quarter inch thick lumber. Uh, I made for my kitchen drawer uh, a knife and fork and spoon separator. Instead of buying them cheap plastic pans that slide all over the place and get dirty and whatever, I made mine out of wood. I stained it up and, and uh, I just brad nailed it in, inside the drawer. And now I got a permanent uh, knife, fork, and spoon separator. For, that, that fit the drawer because I couldn't find anything in the store that would fit the little narrow drawers they give you. So, hey, I made my own. Made it to fit. Well, thanks again for watching the Backyard Woodworking. Uh, I hope I could help somebody out here. Uh, it's just a simple little easy to do project. It ain't nothing special, but maybe it'll help somebody and save a buck and, and have fun doing it. And don't forget, if you like it, subscribe to my channel. Make a comment. Have a nice weekend. Thank you.